Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Tag Me Tuesday and we're going to be making this piece of ephemera today. It's got a lot going on. We have a side loading tab right here. Let me pull this out just like this and you could journal on the back of it and you just pop it right back in to this side loading pocket, just like that. We have a flip book right here with a tie closure, a little bit of a wax seal up here, and a fussy cut with some lace, a label, some crinkled seam binding, and a little bling. Let's go ahead and open it up. So it just unties just like this and then you've got your pages in which you can do a little bit more journaling on. Just like that. Wonderful. Oh, I love this project. Now if you don't have a wax seal, don't worry. You could use a circle punch and punch out something pretty and use that to secure your twine or ribbon, whatever it is that you choose to use. Now this is a hashtag Tag Me Tuesday project and I invite you all to join the Facebook group. The link is down below. You will need to accept the rules. What are the rules? To be kind to everyone and there's no selling. And then if you want that special code word, it's hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. You don't have to have it to join, but you do have to say you're going to be nice to everybody. So you're going to have to accept those rules. And then over there, you make, you watch this video, you learn how to make one of these, then you make your version, and you show us a picture of it, because we all love to see how yours has turned out. Our personalities come out in our crafting. So let's begin. So what we want to do is we want to start with an envelope. I started with one that was three and a half inches by six and a half inches, just like that. And what I'm going to do I'm going to close it up right away. So I've got my art glitter glue and I'm going to seal up my flap just like this. And I'm going to bring in a piece of chapter one papers. And I think what I'd like to do is I like this writing on here and I like the fact that, um, well, I like, I think I want it to be right side up. So I'm going to add my glue directly to my envelope, just like this, okay, and then I'm just going to pop it on. Now I like to trim out what I am I'm trying to cover, I don't um, cut it to be perfect and then trim it out later or trim it out and then try to get it to go back on. I glue it on and then I trim it out. But that's just a personal preference. You you do it the way you like to do it. Now I'm cutting this out because if I don't, I won't really be able to see where my envelope is when I just roll it. I am going to trim right here. All right, so now I'm going to add my glue right here. There we go. And I'm going to just roll it over. Just like that. And that's how I'm getting my envelope covered on the outside. Trim it out, just like this, all right, so I've got that trimmed out. Just going to press it down to make sure it's well sealed, see if any glue is coming out. It's not. So I do like the way it looks when I ink it, so I am going to use my frayed Burlap, and I'm going to run my sponge around the edge, 
just like this. I'm also giving it a little time to uh, for the glue to set. I can feel it's really wet. And I think I might move on to something else, but there's not really much I can move on to. I'm going to need to go ahead and trim this. You need to decide what side you want for the front and what do you want for the back. You could journal on the back if you want. I think I want my front to be like right here and I like I just really like the way the words are and what I want to do is I want to trim my envelope open on the side now you could do either side I'm going to choose to do my right side and I'm hoping I'm not going to chew this up but we're going to barely cut the edge off hopefully that was enough to get my envelope opened there we are. So now it's open just like that. I have a, another piece that's in a blue shade and I'm hoping it will fit in here. And I think it will. Uh, I need to probably cut off just a little bit more on the end. It's just struggling too much to try to get in there. And I'm only going to cover this back side of the envelope, meaning this side, this side of the envelope. I'm not going to cover this side. Um, I really don't think you're going to see it. I'm not even sure you're going to see this side that I'm, that I'm working on right now. I don't know that you'll see it, but there. Oh, that went much better. All right, so what I think I'm going to do it's a little unconventional. Sometimes I do it. Once I get it in, <laughs> I'm going to just stick my glue in there and I'm going to glue it down. Just like that. I'm going to press it down. And then we've got that glued in. Now I think I've got a little extra popping out here, so I'm going to trim it. There we are. All right, so we've got the inside and the outside of our envelope covered. The next thing that I want to do is I want to take a piece of cardstock, and I have actually already done this this part. And I take a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to stick it in here. So I'd need to trim this off, or you could do it this way and you could trim around your envelope like this, you know, mark it and then trim it around and then cut it until it will fit inside your pocket like that. And you'll want to cover it with some type of paper. Now this is another one of Chapter One Papers Digitals. So I think it's Frosted Windows is the one this kit's from. And it just fits in there so nicely. Just like that. Put in there nicer than just a few minutes ago. There. <laughs> okay, the envelope is still wet. Yeah, very much so. So since I trimmed that off, I am going to rub my sponge on there. There, for a little color. I've already inked around this one. Now I also took that same piece of cardstock that you saw me have, and I cut myself a little piece, and I took a piece of this that I had a little extra of and I covered my cardstock front and back. I also have my little tab punch. This happens to be a whale tab punch and I'm going to punch out a whale tab just like that. You don't have to have a whale tab. You can have um, just a regular punch. If you don't have a regular punch you could just take a rectangle piece of paper, fold it in half that can be your tab. Okay, so you don't have to have any of these special pieces to join in the fun. I'm inking this around because I like the way that looks. And I'm also going to think about putting a little bit of decoration on here. In my little box here, I have some fussy cut birds. And let's see. Uh, they're not very big, but that's really pretty on there. It really pops. I've got this one. 
This one's really sweet too. That one, mm, that doesn't stand out enough. So I know that that white one won't stand out. This one right here. That one, ooh, that one blends in a lot. Okay, I think I'm going to use this one. And what else do I want to use with it? Um, well, let's see here. Got, I don't know if I want something like this with it or not. I'm just tearing this out just to see if possibly this might be something that I want. It might be way too busy. Oh no, that's kind of pretty. I also have some, I have a box of labels here. And let's see, what can we use? I'm thinking I want a, I don't want one that says soap, that's for sure. Maybe something like this. Maybe a bigger one like this. Much bigger one. Maybe something like that. I don't know, I'm not feeling it yet. Well, that's not too bad. I really thought I had everything laid out for what I needed to use and found out as I was doing this, is this still going to go that I didn't have, I wasn't as organized as I thought I was. Oh, maybe this one would be better. This almost looks like it's, um, it might say what kind of bird this is. You know, if it was in a, someone's picture of, of the birds that they have seen recently. How do we like how that looks? Oh, I like that. All right, so I'm going to use that label. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get my ink and I'm going to just ink this up, just running my sponge on it, and then I'm going to run my sponge on this, and then my piece that I've torn out, alright, now let's see, I stick this here, usually I like to do my collage off of my piece that I'm going to glue it to and I usually glue it on something like this first. How does that look? Okay, let's turn this. Maybe we want it more like this. We want it more like this. I like that a lot. So I'm looking at this and I think what I'd like to do is glue my leaves onto my label. Like this. I've got my label. Now I'm going to glue all of this onto my little torn piece. Get this on something like this. I can tell already I'm going to need a little tiny piece of paper towel just to daub up my extra glue that's going to seep out. Okay, and then let's pop this on here. And then I can't forget I want this on here. I think I want it like that. So, I'm going to glue my little collage, my little collage right on here for my decoration for my tag. And I'm just going to glue that right on there like that. Okay, need to add more glue to my, my little glue bottle. All right, so I've got that on there. Now this 
is going to fit right in here like this. Just like that. So cute, right? But since it just glued it together, I'm going to let it set over here so that it dries. Now, let's talk about our flip book. So I have some little pages here, and I have trimmed them. There's, there's four, one, two, three, there's five. I've trimmed them so that they will fit on top of my envelope like this. It has a little bit of a, you know, border around. And the other day, I got a Tim Holtz little tiny stapler. I was having such difficulties when I did use my stapler. It's, you know, just the big old-fashioned kind of desk stapler. And I had a hard time seeing where I wanted to put my staples. And the staples were so big. So I decided to get myself one of these smaller ones. I'm going to actually mark right here and right here of where I want to put my staple. These are the tiniest little things. And I'm going to put my staple there and put my staple there. Look how tiny they are. Oh my gosh, they're so itty bitty. Alrighty, so I've got my stapler on there, my staples on there. I've got a scrap piece of coffee dyed coffee weight paper. Now these are all coffee weight paper. There's a grid, there's a digital, it's from chapter one, papers two. There's uh, some coffee dyed tracing paper, some more grid, and um, now this uh, digital is from uh, Junk Journal Studio. That's where this one's from. Now, I want to cover up my staples. You know, I'm still about covering up my staples, even though I like these little tiny ones. I'm still going to cover my staples. So, I have this little piece, and I'm going to just add my glue right here on the top. And then I'm going to lay my little, I'm lining this up on a little grid line so that I can place my paper right there and cover up my staples just like that. Then I got this extra glue. Then I'm going to cut down this side and I'm going to cut down this side. Okay, and then I'm going to just fold it over. So adding a little bit more glue. Just going to fold it over. So if you don't mind staples, you like staples, but I don't know, this just to me looks like it's an actual book because it's got a little header on it. So this is going to go right up here just like this. But before I glue it on, I've got some really pretty pictures. And these are from what is called a clip art book. And you can purchase them off of Amazon. And they're not very expensive. And I really like this pink rose. I thought this would be nice. But I also like these birds. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use, but I do know I'm going to just cut this out like this. I'm not going to try to be perfect in how I get this cut out. I'm just going to kind of go around in this similar type shape like this. I'm going to cut that off so that it's not bothering me anymore and we'll see after I cut this out if I think it looks good or maybe we'll go with the birds if I don't like this I'm hoping I like it I'm hoping it's not too big well if I turn it to the side it's not too big now I've got this little piece of net right here I thought that might be pretty. 
on there. I also have a dish. And in my dish, I have a few things. I have this one I thought is really nice. It says perfume. And I really thought that would be pretty to put right here like that. That was my whole idea of doing that. And that label is from, the, I think it's from the perfumery kit from Chapter One Papers. And inking this up on the edge because, you know, that's just what I like. If you don't ink, it's okay, you guys. It's a personal preference. So if you do, great. If you don't, great. It's just whatever you like, then that's, you know, it's your project. However you want to, you know, put the finishing touches on. All right. A little bit more ink there. A little bit of ink here. Alrighty. So now... What I think I'd like to do is I'm going to, I think I'm going to glue this down first. So lining this up on my grid, there we go, and then I'm going to add my glue to the back. I'm just going to add it to this part. And I'm going to pop it on. Maybe something like that. I think that will be just fine. Okay. Now I'm going to lay this down. And I'm going to have to turn it to be able to get it all on. But I think it will be okay because I'm going to lay my... Uh, label across it. So once again, I'm just not going to glue that. I'm going to let this glue that down. So adding my glue onto my fussy cut and popping it on something like this. Okay. And then I'm going to add my label down here below, like this, I think. Good. I thought I saw some glue on my fingers. <laughs> okay. Now, I have a little tiny bit of crinkled seam binding in that beautiful pink. And I'd like to pop it down right there. Now that's going to take my hot glue to get that to stay on there so I can finish this project. And I'm just turning this to see how exactly I want to glue this on. just want to put... So I think I'm going to attach it right here first. So just a little bit of glue and just attach it on there. So it's attached on and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue and I'm going to push it even more, crinkle it up even more than it was. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more too, just a little bit. So like that, and I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so now we're looking like this. I've got a little bit of bling, and I think I just want three of them. And I'll put them about in the middle, if I can get it on there with and lay it flat. We'll see. Okay, not bad. I'm going to add a little bit more glue right here. Get it to lay flat. There we go. <laughs> I think on the other side too, guys. Okay. There we go. There we are. Okay. Now, for this part up here, I have got 
some wax seals. Now, as I said before, if you don't have a wax seal uh, kit or anything to do this this with, that's okay. Use your hole punch, your, your circle punches, your probably your half inch circle punch, and you could select some pretty paper. You could select notebook paper um, and punch yourself out a little circle and cover your ribbon or twine. And that is uh, what I would suggest if you don't have the wax seal. Now, I have already placed this around. Oh, let's go ahead and put our, our little tag in there so we get the full effect. Now, I'm putting this on now and I'm tying it now because I want to have it close up at the top about right here and I'm just going to tie a bow and I need it in place so that I don't accidentally not allow myself enough um, baker's twine to tie my bow so that's why I'm doing it now if I would simply cut myself some and then try to wrap it around and hope that it fits, oh, I'd probably not do a very good job. It'd probably be too short. So if I do it this way, I'm assured that it will be exactly the length that I need. Now, over here on my table, I'm gonna, I tape it down with a piece of tape so it doesn't go flying off my table. And is my electric uh, wax seal. I don't have fire anymore. I use this. And <clears throat> I've turned it on. And I really think, well, I thought I had three of these. These are super pale pink. I think I want that color, but let me grab some more wax and see if that's really the color I want. All right, I'm going to bring you along. I've got this one. That's a little dark, I think. I've got this one. I think that one might be perfect. I also have this one that's kind of peachy. And there is also this one. Ooh, that one's really pretty too. So it's between uh, this and this. So I need another one of these if I'm going to use that. And I've got it in this little bag over here. So now we need to say, do we, because i got to melt it, do I want that one or do I want this one? I'm almost thinking I might want this darker one. I think it makes it pop a little bit more. So I'm going to put it into my melt machine. I've got a tiny, tiny little um, stamp. And I actually got this tiny one from Hobby Lobby a couple times back when I was there. I've been wanting to use wax seals for quite a while now and finally figured out a project I could do it. It's so tiny. I like it because it's very tiny. Now it's going to take a few minutes and I'll come right back and we will finish off this project. All right now it is melted but you know I was looking and I thought Maybe I should put two flat back pearls right here on this label where it looks like um, some little things go, some kind of um, attachers, attachments. So I'm going to pop these very pale pink flat back pearls right here on this label where it kind of shows. that something goes there. Sitting there waiting for that wax to melt and I thought, well, I think it needs something there. Yeah. 
It's a little something else. All right, so it's all melted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this so I know where my middle is. And I'm going to place my baker's twine in the middle. So it's in the middle. And then I'm going to take my wax seal and I'm going to pour it about right here so that I can put my little stamp right there. So here we go. I'm going to pour this on. Just like this. Okay. And I'm going to pop my little just like that. We have to give it a couple of seconds or minutes. Okay, I think that's enough time has passed. Let's take this off. Oh my goodness, how pretty. That is just gorgeous. Now, I have a pin. It's called Glass Rider. Um, it's Crafter Square Metallic, and it's a that will allow me to just kind of highlight the impression that my stamp made. That's a little bit of gold, just a little bit of an accent there. I absolutely love this project. I hope that you have enjoyed it too. And don't forget to show us your version over at the Facebook group Hashtag Tag Me Tuesday. The link's down below, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.